Hey guys, Lady Luna here with a new room build of the Gothic Nursery. Um, I was kind of wanting to do another nursery, but this one in a bit of a darker style with for maybe the Goth family or for maybe a vampire family or something since we have the new vampire game pack coming up soon. Um, yeah, so it has a very Victorian feel to it, and it's a lot of muted tones and black and white, and it's mace, it's mostly gase, it's mostly base game, and, uh, I use the curtains from the, um, new Glamour Stuff pack, uh, because they're really nice, actually. I really like them and for, you know, old-style builds and everything, especially the ones with the lace edge. Um, I really like them. Uh, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to the vampire pack and everything. Uh, I was trying to make these curtains work, and they just, the, the new curtains that were the new base game curtains, I was trying to make them work, and... They just weren't, but I really love them. I think they're really nice, but they're not really for this kind of, like, style I was going for. So, yeah. Um, I, uh, y you definitely, it's definitely already very clearly Victorian style, and, yeah. Um, there is a... There is a crib and um, a toddler bed, so you can have your little baby sim and then age him up and everything. And yeah, so I th like like I always feel like uh, I I always feel like like I always have like the when I do kids room builds I always put like the uh, the baby bed in there too at least for you know like young kids. And, because I always felt like, you know, they're just going to go straight from the baby bed to the, uh, to, to, from the crib to the, uh, to the next level up and everything. So, might as well keep the crib in there, too. Um, I always have this thing with, uh, with having French doors on a, uh, nursery I'm not sure why. I think I think it's cuz of the movie um cuz of the movie Hook and when they were staying in the nursery and everything, it had the double doors and everything. It was like that nursery was pretty awesome with the paintings and everything on the walls. I keep saying everything right now and I apologize. Um but I don't know. Any of you guys out there like the the uh, movie Hook, let me know because I love it. I freaking love it. And I know people are like, well, it ruins Peter Pan because it was uh, Peter Pan was all about how he wouldn't grow up. And it's like, I don't care. <laughs> I really love Peter Pan too. I've read the books. I know he's like a real a-hole in them. And is a kid who never grew, is going to grow up. But whatever. I should do a... Uh, I should do the Darling House from, from, uh, yeah, uh, for, from Peter Pan and just, like, you know, do the nursery and go all out and, like, have the three beds and, like, <laughs> yeah. That would be really neat, actually. I think I'm gonna do that and have, like, a little balcony window for Peter Pan and, oh. Uh, That'll be really fun, okay? Just, yeah. Uh, I wish, like, like, uh, like, I wish that I could pull off some more, like, wild stuff. Like, not wild, but, um, just, I don't know. There was this wallpaper, well, like, there was this pattern that I used to make wallpaper with in The Sims 3, where it was, like, these birds on tree branches, and I always used to use it in nurseries and kids' rooms and stuff because I just thought it was, like, so darling and charming. And I wish we had something like that for The Sims 4, but we don't, and that's okay, I guess. 
I, I really miss creative style, though it was so slow and it would make my game crash sometimes. So, yeah. Um, there's, there wasn't very, there wasn't very many childish sort of things that were of the, the, uh, style. Um, I kind of hope we get, like, some nautical-themed kid stuff soon. That'd be really cool. But, uh, here we're coming up on the end, and I'll leave you to it. So, so...